Mars Exploration. This course is brought to you by Gilad James Mystery School. Learn more at giladjames.com. Introduction. Mars has been a goal of exploration programs of the most important space agencies all over the world for decades. It is, in fact, the most investigated celestial body of the solar system. Mars robotic exploration began in the 1960s of the 20th century by means of several space probes sent by the United States, U.S., and the Soviet Union, USSR. In the recent past, also European, Japanese, and Indian spacecrafts reached Mars, while other countries, such as China and the United Arab Emirates, aim to send spacecraft toward the Red Planet in the next future. The high number of mission explorations to Mars clearly points out the importance of Mars within the solar system. Thus, the question is, why this great interest in Mars exploration? The interest in Mars is due to several practical, scientific, and strategic reasons. In the practical sense, Mars is the most accessible planet in the solar system. It is the second closest planet to Earth, besides Venus, averaging about 360 million kilometers apart between the furthest and closest points in its orbit. Earth and Mars feature great similarities. For instance, both planets rotate on an axis with quite the same rotation velocity and tilt angle. The length of a day on Earth is 24 hours, while slightly longer on Mars at 24 hours and 37 minutes the tilt of Earth axis is 23.5 degrees, and Mars tilts slightly more at 25.2 degrees. Further, Earth and Mars revolve around the Sun with about the same revolution velocity. The former orbits at 30 km per second and the latter at 24 km per second. A year is 365 days on Earth and almost double that at 687 Earth days on Mars. Both Earth and Mars have four seasons each. Severe dust storms occur during the summer in the Mars Southern Hemisphere. They are so strong that block most of the surface from view by satellites. During the fall, in the Mars polar regions, crystals of carbon dioxide, CO2, form and so much of the atmosphere gets absorbed that atmospheric pressure drops up to 30% as seasons transition from fall to winter. From the scientific point of view, it is worth noting that exploring Mars provides the opportunity to possibly answer origin and evolution of life questions and could someday be a destination for survival of humankind. In fact, the red planet is a stony body with atmosphere, like Earth, with the same age, yet with only half the diameter of Earth and with similar geological structures, as cold and desert-like surfaces, mountains and volcanoes, lava plains, cratered areas, giant canyons, wind-formed features, ancient riverbeds and, a very important thing, the presence of water. Therefore, Mars could provide several information about what the Earth beginning was and, especially, what the future expected to Earth will be, if climate changes arise and persist. Finally, in the strategic sense, Exploring Mars demonstrates political and economic leaderships of a nation, improves the quality of life on Earth, inspires young generations, and helps learn about our home planet. The first successful approach to the red planet was with the flyby of the U.S. Mariner 4 spacecraft, C, on July 15, 1965. The Mariner spacecraft. Credit, NASA. The flyby mission allowed getting the Mariner 4 space probe very close to Mars so that it was able to collect photos of the red planet in passing, C. They were first Mars images ever returned to Earth. Photo of Mariner crater on Mars taken by Mariner 4. Credit, NASA slash JPL. Since then, more than 50 missions were planned and partially successfully accomplished. The Mars exploration, in fact, is characterized by a high failure amount, especially the early attempts. Roughly 30% of all Mars missions failed before completing their goals and some failed even before their observations could start. As is well known, Mars missions represent a great success for aerospace engineering because they feature several complex phases, like launch, interplanetary journey, approach, entry and descent flights, and landing, each one is unique and demands great efforts. These exploration missions answered several fundamental questions, such as dispelling the myth of canals that evidenced an ancient civilization and investigated the antique riverbeds present on the surface, which suggests the presence of liquid water and maybe of past life forms, which may lie hidden below the planet's forbidding exterior. The timeline of the most important Mars exploration missions is herein reported. 1965, Mariner 4, C, 
passes very close to Mars, within nearby 10,000 kilometers, and provides the first closest images of the surface. 1969, Mariner 6 and 7 pass at around 4,000 kilometers from the planet and send several data of Mars atmosphere and surface. November 3, 1971, Mariner 9 orbits on November 24. It is the first U.S. probe orbiting around a celestial body other than Earth. Mariner 9 returns detailed data on the planet's atmosphere, maps its surface, reveals Martian topography, and captures many more images of the red planet. December 2, 1971, the USSR's Mars 3 orbiter, C, returns some eight months of data that reveal much about the planet's topography, atmosphere, weather, and geology. The Mars 3 spacecraft. Credit, NASA. But the major success is that for the first time, the Mars 3 lander successfully touches the planet's surface, C. But, the lander sends data for only 20s. The Mars 3 lander. Credit, NASA. July and August 1973, the USSR launches Mars 4, 5, 6, and 7, but only Mars 6 lands. July 19, 1976, Viking 1, C, arrives at Mars. It was launched on August 20, 1975. Viking 1's lander, C, reaches the Mars surface on July 20. The primary mission objectives were to obtain high-resolution images of the Martian surface, characterize the structure and composition of the atmosphere and surface, and search for evidence of life. The Viking Spacecraft. Credit, NASA. The Viking Lander. Credit, NASA. September 3, 1976, the lander of Viking 2 reaches the surface of the Red Planet. Viking 1 and 2 spacecrafts continues to send back data as late as 1982. They capture extraordinary images of the Mars surface that astound the public and excite scientists. The landers also conduct biological experiments on soil to search for evidence of life in space, but their results are inconclusive, though tantalizing. September 25, 1992, NASA launches the Mars Observer, MO. September 1997, the Mars Global Surveyor, MGS, reaches Mars and begins its orbit up to the end of mission on November 2, 2006. NASA's NGS mission objective is mapping and studying the Mars surface. The mission provided insights into the dynamic changing seasons and shifting weather, including its strong dust storms. July 4, 1997, the Mars Pathfinder lands on Mars and the rover Sojourner starts exploring the planet and sends back images to Earth for four months, c. Sojourner proves that it is possible to land a free-moving rover vehicle that travels around the Mars surface, thus collecting scientific data such as images, weather observations, and chemical soil analyzes. Pathfinder lander camera image of Sojourner atop the Mermaid Dune on Sol 30. Credit, NASA. December 11, 1998, NASA launches the Mars Climate Orbiter, MCO but unfortunately is lost on arrival in September 1999. January 3, 1999, NASA launches the Mars Polar Lander, MPL, but the spacecraft is not able to communicate with the ground control on December 3. October 24, 2001, the Mars Odyssey Orbiter, MOO, reaches Mars. June 2, 2003, the Mars Express Orbiter, MEO, is launched by the European Space Agency, ESA, with the Beagle 2 lander. Mayu spacecraft successfully orbits around Mars, where it studies the planet for two years. Unfortunately, the Beagle 2, planned to land on December 25, 2003, never makes contact. January 16, 2015, NASA declares that the Beagle 2, has been found on Mars with solar panels not fully open upon landing. This probably not allowed communication with ground control. June 10, 2003, the rover Spirit is launched. July 7, 2003, NASA launches the rover Opportunity. Both Spirit and Opportunity, C belong to the NASA's Mars Exploration Rover mission. An artist concept portraying a NASA Mars Exploration Rover's opportunity and spirit on the Mars surface. Credit, NASA. January 3, 2004, Spirit lands on the Red Planet and begins transmitting images of the Mars surface. January 15, 2004, the rover Spirit leaves its lander and starts to study the rocks and soil for evidences of water. January 25, 2004, 
the rover Opportunity reaches the Mars surface and starts its exploration mission that lasts 33 months longer than originally designed. February 2, 2004, both Spirit and Opportunity rovers are fully operational and explore Mars surface by gathering soil samples and images, to find sign of the past Martian environment. The last communication is heard from Spirit on March 22, 2010, while Opportunity is still operational. June 10, 2018, the last communication is heard from Opportunity in Perseverance Valley. Finally, on February 13, 2019, NASA announces the Opportunity mission complete. Spirit and Opportunity rovers cover several kilometers and return a lot of high-resolution photos. Probing soil and rocks, they also use their fully equipped lab modules to conduct geology tests on the surface and below it. March 10, 2006, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MRO, reaches the red planet and starts to scan Mars for more signs of water.